I know that the first thing they're gonna ask me is how to move from Android to iPhone. Now that I have my new iPhone, how to move from my Android device to my iPhone device. And it's pretty simple. Apple actually has an app for that. And what is the name of this app? The name of this app is Move to iOS. And you're gonna find that app on the Play Store. Move, look at that, the first result, Move to iOS. So I'm gonna install this app, Move to iOS. Move to iOS, Apple, I'm gonna open it. And it says move to iOS. Use this app to copy messages, photos, and more from the Android device to a new iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. So we're gonna click continue. Terms and conditions, agree. Send up usage, don't send. Allow move to iOS to access the device's location. I will say only this time. And device location is required to transfer data. This is new, okay. I'm gonna go to my location, I'm gonna turn it on. And I have it right there. Device location is required to transfer data. I will put continue, find your code. If you don't see a code on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod touch, make sure you are in iOS setup assistant and have selected move data from Android. So I need to restore my device to factory default settings. And I'm gonna click settings and I'm gonna go to general and I'm gonna scroll down. And here you can see transfer or reset the iPhone. I'm gonna click there. Interesting, I will follow this later. So I'm gonna just click erase all contents and settings. Press continue, erase iPhone. So right now my iPhone is gonna be reset to factory default. Once I start the configuration again, I'm gonna be able to move from Android to iOS. I'm gonna have to find that window that is called move data from Android. Okay guys, so I reset my phone and let me work on the iPhone first. English, United States, manually set up manually i'm gonna log into my wi-fi again it may take a few minutes to activate your iphone data and privacy continue face id set up later passcode i will say don't use passcode don't use passcode this is the screen we need it's called apps and data and here we're going to select move data from android move from android i'm going to click continue and this is the code that I need to input here. I'm gonna click continue here too. I'm gonna to put this code 019218. And now we're gonna to move to iOS. Continue to connect to the Wi Fi network created by your iOS device. It's called iOS DDFE1. In your case, it's gonna be a different name probably. You press continue. And now you're gonna to connect to that Wi Fi. Connect to device. Say connect. Connections. Look at this, connection successful, and we are waiting for SMF711U01, which is the model number of the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. This is all the stuff that I can move. I can select more stuff, you know. Allow, I'm allowing all this stuff to happen. So now I'm gonna move the camera roll, which is 17 gigs, it's a lot. And that's it guys. Once we select everything that we want from the Android to be moved to the iPhone, we can continue. And we are doing the moving, move to iOS. Right now, look at this, remaining 40 minutes. So this is gonna take a while, depending on how much data you have on your Android device. And we can see that we're still waiting for the transfer to complete. Uh, it says 17 minutes and here 19 minutes. And we are almost done. 10 minutes remaining, it says. So, okay guys, so we're gonna start the countdown because we are only one minute left. Less than a minute on the Android set. That's it. Transfer complete. You can see on the left side on the Galaxy, it says transfer complete. Your data has been copied to your new iOS device. Some items were not copied, such as purchases, apps, or media, or media that is saved within apps. Okay? And look at this, transfer complete. Your data has been transferred to this iPhone. Some items like photos and videos may have been imported to the move to iOS folder in the files app. So this is new guys, move to iOS folder in the files app. Okay, so we are done here. You know, Apple is really uh, sarcastic here. It says, recycle your Android device. You can recycle this Android device for free at any participating Apple store. All right, so done. People are gonna ask, do I lose anything on the Android? No, you're gonna keep 
all the files, all the data that you have on the Android, you're going to keep it there. You didn't lose anything. You just move it to the iPhone. So let's see what happened on the iPhone. Transfer complete. Continue setting up iPhone. Here is important. Then you're going to have to log into your Apple ID. I'm going to do it right now. And look at this. Apple verification code. So I got it on a computer. I'm going to say allowed. And they're going to give me a code. I'm going to input the code. And that's pretty much it, right? Terms and conditions, agree. It may take a few minutes to set up your iPhone. And actually, the iPhone is communicating with the Apple servers to check that everything is fine. The Apple ID, that this iPhone is not blacklisted or whatever. Keep your iPhone up to date. Continue. Location services, disable. Siri, set up later. Screen time later. iPhone analytics don't share. Appearance, I'm going to keep it as light. And welcome to iPhone. And that's it, guys. So now we're going to see. Hold on one second. Look at this. Add your Android device apps from the App Store. The free apps will download. Apps may offer in app purchases. To learn more about each app, tap the icon from purchase on the App Store. All right. So I will say add apps. Finish setting up the iPhone, okay. And it's gonna ask me to log in to the same Android account, to the same Google account that I use on the Android. Once you sign in to that account, the iPhone is gonna know what apps you used to have on the Android device and it's gonna install all the apps. For people that are gonna ask about WhatsApp, you cannot transfer the chat history yet. There's a software out there that you have to pay for it, that you can transfer your chat history from the Android to the iPhone. But natively, this is not supported yet, but it will come in the future for sure. Let me check on the pictures. You can see all the pictures and videos that I transfer. For example, this one, let's say. Pictures. And that's it, guys. That's how you move from your Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 to the new iPhone 13 Pro Max. I hope you like this video guys thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel that's the best way to support my channel so i can do more videos for you thank you and i'll see you on my next video bye